From the garden into the pan, I have harvested my Swiss chard and my dinosaur kale. And now I'm going to show you how I cut it to cook it. You see this vein running along here? It just makes it a little tougher to eat. So I fold the leaf over and I cut the vein all the way down. So I have this. Now I like to save some of this bottom piece because I like to eat it, but some people don't. But I will chop that up and put it in the pan. Then I'm gonna take each leaf, and sometimes I'll do several at a time, roll it over, it just makes it easier. And cut it all the way down into little bite-sized pieces. Put it over here in the pan. And keep on going. We're gonna do one more. And then I'm going to take a little break and get all of this cutting done. And then I'll be back. This is going into the pot. Now I'm going to get the rest of this cutting done. And then I'll be back to show you how I cook it. I have all my Swiss chard and my dinosaur kale cut into pieces. I have been sauteing onions and garlic, butter and olive oil. It smells wonderful. Now I'm going to just dump all of this into here. It looks like a lot, but you know how it is with any pop of green. It cooks down to not very much. So for the next, I'm going to say 10 to 15 minutes, I'm just going to stand here and do this. Make sure all of the pieces are coated in the olive oil and the butter and the onion. And this is going to cook down and then I'll be back. And here we have the finished Swiss chard, dinosaur kale, garlic and onion dish.